The UN Forum for Gender Equality and Women Empowerment has chosen its chair. Abdulaziz Alwasi, the Saudi ambassador to the United Nations. Does it sound ironic? Human rights groups also felt the same. A man from a kingdom that has been infamous for its conservatism has been asked to lead a women's forum, according to them. While it's very easy to pick and hit and critique this move, the, to question if this is the best foot forward on the road to progress, one must acknowledge the distance that Saudi Arabia has traveled in the last few years, all under the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's leadership. You see, this is the same kingdom that has been under Wahhabi conservatism for a century. But now, just look at the strides it is making. Just last night, I told you, Saudi Arabia is all set to enter the Miss Universe pageant. It's only the second Gulf country to do that after Bahrain. Sounds pretty progressive, right? It's almost like Saudi Arabia has become the land of surprises. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is slowly changing the landscape and the society. He is making his country into a tourist destination and an international sports hub. Just a few months back, the kingdom also opened its first liquor store. The Crown Prince's decision surprised many and maybe even shocked conservatives in this country. Most importantly, Mohammed bin Salman is giving women their much-deserved rights. Consider this, for decades, Saudi Arabian women were forced to wear the abaya in public. The dress code was strictly enforced by the police, but women finally decided to speak up. Campaigners urged the crown prince to loosen the conservative dress code, and their effort was successful. The enforcement was lifted in 2018. The crown prince said women should wear decent and respectful clothing, whether they wear the hijab or abaya, is a personal choice personal choice. Those aren't words you get to hear often in the region, not when it comes to women. It is clear that the Crown Prince has been pushing for women's rights. In fact, he has a long-term development strategy called Vision 2030. Under this plan, he aims to reduce gender discrimination. Before lifting abaya compulsions in 2018, he ruled that women should be allowed to attend sporting events, also drive cars. Now, this might seem like small steps to the world outside, but for women in Saudi Arabia, it made all the difference. Prior to that, many had to let go of their careers due to difficulties related to commute. Many could not afford daily taxis or private drivers, but being allowed to drive changed all of this. It gave them the freedom to work and run errands at their convenience. In 2019, Saudi Arabia announced the Women in the Workplace Initiative. It mandated equal pay for equal work. The policy strives to make work, the environment uh, more hospitable and safe for women. Women are also allowed to apply for passports and travel abroad now. You may be watching the show from other parts of the world where this is the norm. These are rights. Do we really need to celebrate basic rights or praise them? Believe me, it has been a huge leap for Saudi Arabia. It's very easy to judge. But here's the thing. We need to look at it from Saudi Arabia's lens. It has stepped up and asked for the responsibility of the chair at, U at the UN Women's Forum. Maybe it's asking for a chance to change its image. But I have to say, it would have made more of a difference if a woman was given that opportunity. What do you think? To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.